past, right? You've been up there for games? No, this will be my first oh, time. Oh, okay. First time. The only time I've been to that stadium is my son played at Navy. I went and watched him play an Army Navy game. Oh, that's it's, right. It's a great atmosphere, and a great stadium, and uh, I think our kids will enjoy the environment. What's the biggest thing you take from the defensive performance you guys had Saturday against Florida State? What stands out to you compared to the past games? I think uh, penetration. You look at uh, you look at the results. You got 10, 10 lost yards plays and two sacks, 12 total minus plays that we created. That, that's caused through penetration. And uh, people penetrating and hitting the right gaps and all that and fitting. And so the biggest thing I think I take out of that is we're getting upfield and creating some confusion and some disruption in the offense. So we've got to continue to do that. I thought our missed assignments were cut down quite a bit. We still got to work on our penalties. We had one foolish penalty I thought at the end that cut one of our third down stops. You know, we had to stop and be losing on the penalty. So, but our, our third down ratio was better too. Would have been excellent with that other what, one. Five, five for 15, right? Five for 15, yes sir. And so when we had that one other one, we were in the 70% range. So. Is, is, that, is there a number you shoot for on third downs in terms of what percent you get off the field or something? Yeah, we got a goal up there in the 60s. So um, sure. you know, when you get close to the 70s, you've done something special. So. Is Forte making a play for, for being a starting end right now? Is he doing what? Is Forte making a case for being a starter right yeah, now? Yeah, right now he's done, he did some nice – he had a couple of lost charge plays himself there right. that did a nice job. And uh, I think with him, Tev, and Ryan in there, you're gonna have to, we're going to have to rotate him, you know, keep him fresh. And we're starting to develop some depth a little bit and keeping people fresh at other positions. And we've always been able to do that at the defensive end position because of the, you know, the depth we have there and the age we have there and some of the experience we have. I guess after three, it drops off a little. You get to somebody like Lee after the first three. Right. Yeah. And Eric's come along. He's getting some reps. He's getting in there, too. And that's a work in progress, too. He'll be the fourth guy. Talk about the uh, production from the defensive tackles. I mean, they're the ones that got to the quarterback last week, and, you know, Sager was, was all over the place as well. Well, sometimes when you get your penetration, you want to start it right there in the middle. You know, in that A and B gap where they line up a lot, and they're able to. Dent, you know, they weren't allowed those stretch plays that they tried to stretch you and bring it back. And uh, they want you to keep you flat on the line, and we were able to penetrate that and make them things bow a little bit. So what you saw them guys do a lot of times with some of those running plays was not let the ball cut back so we could run over the top with their linebackers. And so that was key. And also, you know, having the sacks with them pushing the pocket up the middle and not letting the quarterback step up and throw the football was, was key for us. Does having a healthy secondary back affect some of the chances you can take? It, it allows you to do a little more. It allows you to play them with nickel because you got more people to do it with, and, uh, and even maybe some dime situations. But uh, obviously, you got more experience when you got starters in there to do more things. And uh, I look at it this way: you know, we when you don't have in there somebody else that step up and play, and they get some experience playing in the game, so that helps you in the long run. So when you get everybody back, you're actually deeper. If that makes sense. The only thing you think you can do to create more takeaways, or is it just? in a bad place right now. Let's come out. Well, we're getting the balls out. You know, we're stripping the balls. You know, it kind of started with the first game. Remember, we stripped the first ball out, and we didn't get that one. Then they called it. Uh, you know, we we had a college fumble in that first play that was not called a safety there. And we kind of been rolling since then, but the balls have come out now. Catching the football interception, we dropped some early, and uh, maybe you know we're working on it right now. We do a turnover drill every day. Every other day during this, and we're just emphasizing it. We're going to keep working on it until it happens. And our kids are emphasizing, we're emphasizing it. And eventually, we're going to knock that sucker down and get some turnover. Is it something where the more you talk about it, the worse it gets mentally, or how do you approach it? I don't know. I'm going to keep talking about it. We want to get it done. <laughs> so I'm going to emphasize it. The kids are talking about it, too. And they're, you know, it's important to them, and it's important to us, and we want to get it done. And, and uh, we're working on stripping in practice, catching balls, and Having everybody on the field learn to catch the ball so, uh, and break on it. And, uh, so it'll happen. Chris, by the moment when it does, right? <laughs> There'll be a Stop party. Stop. <laughs> Chris, you guys came out Saturday and kind of committed to that Sam in the middle look with, with Richard outside. If he's hurt, does that kind of scrap that for now? Or? Well, we got to see who can come back and give that. Um, obviously, with, with, when you have that, you got more depth and, and we can play more people and be fresher than the games. And that's kind of what we want to get to. Kind of what you asked about with the ends, we want to get developed that with the linebackers right now, and uh, you can throw Tayshawn in there too in that mix to you know give you some depth. And uh, what about that block punt? That was awesome. I mean, awesome effort. I mean, different topic, and 
you know, him in the game and getting experience like that's going to gain confidence when he can play in the regular downs. And, uh, you know, Zach Bullock got in there also, and then the catch he made on the punt. You, know, you don't see many linebackers run down there and catch the ball over your shoulder on the punt, and that was an outstanding effort. So those guys are learning to do stuff in the special teams and, 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 and gaining experience there, I think, to the carryover on regular downs for us.